So what do your pastor teach you? Teach me how to live holy. How to live holy? Teach me the word of God. Do the word of God. And I read the word for myself as well. Okay. If he's teaching you how to be holy, then she. She. Oh, oh. oh Lord, have mercy. Okay. The, the listen, sis. Listen, sis. Right. See, that's how we know our people are destroyed. You read the Bible? Not exactly. Not exactly. Slate. Oh, you don't go to church anymore. And that's good that you don't go to church because they ain't teaching you nothing no way. Well, that's why right? I quit going. So, the slave ship. So, how, let me ask you some question. How did we get here? We got over here. We were brought here on slave ships. Were they uh, carnival ships? Were we, were we relaxing on those ships? No. You see how we were packed on there like sardines? So, people said, oh, that was a long time ago. We're still in slavery today. Right, right. Right? Baruch, you get it? So, in the, in the Bible tells us that we're still in slavery today. Right. right? Now, read this. Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day today still in captivity, right? Because we're brought over on slave ships don't mean that we're not still in slavery, right? Right. right? And, then, and when we got over here on those slave ships, right, they sold us. See down here at the auction blocks? You know, probably know all that, right? They sold us into slavery in Charleston, Virginia, all over the place, all over the world. Because right. we were scattered all over the world. See down here? Slave ship, right? Read. Where thou hast scattered us. For a reproach and a curse. He scattered it because we went against his laws that command. People say you can't keep the laws. Huh? Right. You keep the laws of this land, right. but you can't keep God's laws? That makes no sense. Right, that's right. It makes no sense. Oh, no one can keep the laws. Well, you keep the America laws, but you can't keep God's laws. Right. Right. Makes no sense. Right. None whatsoever. Right? He said, and scattered us. This is a, a, a map showing us what we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Right? And still to this day, we call ourselves African American, like the young man that was up here. You ain't no African American. Uh, what's your dad? Is he a Af so called African American? Your dad's so called black man? Yeah. Right? So, if your dad's a so called black man, and you come from this tribe, so called American blacks, those are the names they gave us when we came over here. In the Bible, we have names, but don't know it. Because we're not taught that in church. You're right about not going to church, sis. Don't go. And don't go back. Come join us. The, church, the, the school we have is a school of learning. It's not something you just go up and you cross your leg and check the box for the week. Right? You got sisters you can communicate with. You got leadership you can communicate with. The slave ships is something that was a form of transportation because we sinned against God that he transported us over here on. Deuteronomy 28. It's in the Bible. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Verse 68. Excuse me. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He will bring us into Egypt again with ships. You know the story of Moses when he went and got the children out of Egypt, right? So this time he said, I'll bring you into Egypt again with, with ships. So we, we walked into Egypt the first time. Now we're in Egypt on this side of the world. Babylon the Great, they're the same. Right? Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Moses said, I told you that what would happen to you if you didn't keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. We will be put on ships and what? Thou shalt see it. Excuse me. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We wouldn't see those slave masters again. Now you're getting a new slave master. Right. This one got a whip, too. But he's going to beat your back till it looks like that. Because you went against me. Right? That's what happened after we got off those slave ships. And we, we were, some of us were rebellious. Some of us were like, oh, okay. Right? We went into slavery because we went against God's, God, God's laws. Right? And in verse, I'm going to go back and read it to you how we know that this is talking about you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, it's in the Bible. Right. That's right. Bring it out. Read. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16, f- excuse me, 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Moses said, if you don't listen what God told me to tell you, to observe, to do all his commandments. You ob- to observe means to look and do all his commandments, right? And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God, excuse me, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Our name is a curse on this side of the world. That's right. Because we don't know that we're Judah. We don't even know that we're Israel. Right. That's right. We think those them bastards with them black hats on and long coats are the Jews. Right. They say they, they call themselves Jewish. Right. That means pertaining to or like. Right. right? So how are they the Jews and we're not? It makes no sense because we sinned against God. We lost our heritage. We lost our name. That's right. 65? Yes, right. Do, I mean, excuse me. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. Yeah. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. Leave your name for a curse. What's your last name, sis? Kelly. Kelly? Last name. That's Master Kelly's name. Right. When you have a, fa- a family reunion, you celebrate Master Ke- Kelly's last That's name. Right. Not the right. Kelly family. Your last name is Israel. That's right. He said you will leave your name for a curse. Are we a blessed people on this side or a cursed per- people on this side of the earth? Cursed. We curse, right? How can we be blessed when we came over here on, on slave ships? Right. We were before we got on those slave ships when we were doing what God said. That's right. Right? But now we don't. Not even today. People say, I'm blessed and highly favored. You're telling a lie. Right. No, we're not. Right? If we don't know who we are, how are we blessed? If we're calling ourselves African American, how are we blessed? Right. Those, that's two, uh, uh, um, white men. two white men. Leo Scipio, Africanist, and American Vespucci. African American. Right. right? How can you be two different continents? Read you up. can't. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 41, and verse 9. And if ye be born, ye shall be born to a curse. If you be born, we're born into a curse on this side of the world and around the world, right? Because we aren't known as Israel throughout the world. We're known as blacks, Hispanics, and any other nation you could think of, right? That's, right? That's not our name. We have to come back to who we are according to the Bible, That's right. right? And if we're not coming back to who we are as the Bible, that means we don't love God. How do we love God, sis? How do we love him? Yeah, how are we supposed to love God? What is love according to God? First, to obey him and be to like obey. him. Oh, okay. Right. You got some knowledge. You got some knowledge. You have to obey, like you said. But I'm going to show you what the Bible say that is, right? The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. That's how you love God, by keeping his commandments, sis. That's right. right? Right? You say you want to know about the slave ships, right? That's good. Most people come in and don't want to know anything. Oh, you can't tell them anything, right. right? No one knows everything. We don't know everything, right? We know enough to come out here to tell our people who they are according to the Bible. Right. And you are a princess from the tribe of Judah. That's right. But you, to the day, you didn't even know that. You knew you was a princess, but you didn't know what people, what, who are my people? They're not black people. We're not black. Right. We're not the color of my pants. Right. That's a depiction to determine. We use that term because the Bible said we come from the dust of the ground. Because the deeper you dig, the darker it gets. That's why we use that. Yeah, black is in the Bible, right? It is in the Bible. But that's not your color or your race. Your race is an Israelite. That's right. From the tribe of Judah. A princess from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Right? That name has power behind it, right? You got it? No, I'm talking about that name. Your name has power behind it. Read it. Genesis 32. Right. Your name has power behind it. Our name has power behind it. Because you know what's feared the most in this land? Black unity. That's That's right. That's feared the most. Read. That's right. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said, thy name shall no more be called Jacob. Jacob's name changed. He said, it ain't going to be Jacob no more. Read. 
What? Israel! What? Who? Israel! Your name is Israel. Your last name is Israel. That's right. Your first name is what? Sharon. Sharon. Israel. That's for, right. for now, because you don't have a, 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 a name like Sarah or a, a name like Judith, so on and so forth, yeah. right? What am I showing you? We have to come back to our heritage, right? Our name, Jacob's name changed because, you know, he had to fight with the angel, right? He said, I ain't going to let you go till, my, till, till you bless me. Right. He said, okay, you ain't Jacob no more. Why? What does that name mean? For as a prince has power with God. As a prince of princes that have power with God. Because right. we're God's people. Everybody ain't God's people. That's right. We, we all came from Adam, but we ain't all God's people. That's right. Read. And with men, and have prevailed. Right. Have prevailed. So that means he went from this state to another state. Your name is Israel. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Right? Your name is Israel. Not Johnson, Smith, Kelly, so on and so forth. Right? right? They knew that. So when we got off the, off the, off the, off the ship, down there it says Negro. Negro means black. Right? Negro, black. They didn't even tell you what your name was when they stole you. Took it from you. Right? Because we lost a name for a curse that we read earlier, right? Read that. Exodus chapter 4 and verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son. Israel is my son. My people are Israel. That's right. His princesses and his sons is Israel. That's right. right. Pharaoh knew that. He knew who we were. Right? So, but we don't know who we are. Why is it that we don't know who we are? Sharon, why is it that we don't know? So you used to go to church, right? You used to go to church, right? Yeah. So why did the preacher never tell you who you were in the Bible? Why, why did he not tell you that? Because he gets paid to not tell you. Right. That's right. He gets paid to not tell you. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Yes, Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. You know. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Woe be unto them. Death, hell, and destruction. That's what woe is. Because when he come back, that's what it's going to be. He right. said, war unto them what? That destroy and scatter the sheep of my past. They destroy us with their lies that they're taught by a certain man, right? They're taught that by this. Right? Who, who do we say this is? I'm counting her. Are you guys the same guys that be down here? Yes. Off Augusta Road? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. So we meeting today. If you want to come, sis, they'll give you what we're gonna. They'll give you the number. I won't be able to come, but I, I see y'all down there. That's why? Why you can't come? Why you can't? I'm, I'm getting ready to go. and change the shirt because I'm getting ready to get on the road. Oh, you're getting ready to leave? You go yeah. somewhere? Yeah. Okay. You give them my number. So next week you can come to where we meeting at. No, the number for the 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 the, the um is on there, but you can get my number and you'll know, I can tell you where we're meeting at. Right. Right. So, sis, did you learn something? Of course, because I didn't know that. Uh, you didn't know that. You didn't know what tribe or race you were, right? You just thought you was a black American, right? All right. Well, yeah, well, now I'm going to show you what's required of you right quick. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. To walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Miss Kelly, that's what you required of you. To keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, for thy good. For thy good. That's what's required of us, to keep these laws. Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Don't walk off. Come talk to us. Come talk to us. Ain't going to take but a little bit. Ain't going to take but a little bit. You know who you are according to the Bible. What is today? What day of the week is it? What do we supposed to be doing today? 
Anybody know? What are we supposed to be doing today? Today is the Sabbath, since y'all can answer. Today is the Sabbath. This is the day that is set apart for you to rest. Read the Sabbath. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. It says remember the Sabbath day because we've forgotten, read. Right? To keep it holy. To keep it holy means set apart, meaning this day is set apart for you, right? Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Sunday through Friday night sundown, Friday sundown is what we're supposed to work, right? Until the sun go down on Friday, read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Seventh day, today is the Sabbath of the Lord. What are we supposed to do? In it, excuse me, in it thou shalt not do any work. We ain't supposed to work today, read. Thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, thy maidservant, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. It should be silence out here today. It shouldn't, we shouldn't hear nothing. If we did that for one day, it would shut down America's economy. Right. It would shut it down. They wouldn't know how to function. Sis, I see that you came up. We're talking about the Sabbath. You know what the Sabbath is. What day is it? Okay, you, you say Saturday, right? No, the Bible says it's today. Not me. The Bible says it's today. So what's the first day of the week? Sunday, Sunday right. You got it right. Right? Most people say Monday. That's a five-day work week. Sunday is the first day. Today is the Sabbath. We started last night at sundown. The day starts at sundown, not when we see light. Right? So on that day, what are we supposed to do? Rest. And other than rest, what should we be doing? Worshiping. Should we be gathering together? Yeah, the Bible says, I'm going to read it. We just read it. I'm going to read it to you. Read This is the book. Hold on, excuse me. You give me a minute. So, I'm going to read it to you so that you can say, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do on the Sabbath, right? Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord. Which is, excuse me, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Holy convocation. Go back to Exodus. That's what I want. Holy convocation. That's what we do on the Sabbath. That means gathering, a holy gathering, right? Holy convocation on the Sabbath, Sabbath right? And we have other high holy days that most of us don't know about, right? Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Read up. Remember the Sabbath day. It says remember because we've forgotten what the Sabbath. We think. Tomorrow is the Sabbath. No, read. To keep it holy. To keep it holy is set apart, right? Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Like I said, six days, Sunday to Friday, sundown, right, is what we're supposed to do. That's when we do all our work, right? Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Like you said today, right? That's, the Bible says that, right? Right? So why don't we do it? Because we don't know about it. You, 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 you go to church? So why don't you know when the Sabbath is? Because you know why? Jeremiah 23. Because your pastor never told you that going to church on a Sunday isn't the Sabbath. Right. Why? I'm going to show you why. This is how you know you got a false teacher or somebody that's destroying the people. Read. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Woe right. unto those pastors that destroy and scatter, right? Don't tell you what's right from wrong. Don't tell you that the Sabbath was to, is today, right? Oh, you can go to church anytime. Going to church don't mean that you're keeping the Sabbath. Right. That's, right. That's, That's right. just you going Sunday worship. And we got Sunday worship from this man right here. Right. Who is this? Oh. Who is this? Who is it supposed to be? Who do you know, on the church walls? We see that man everywhere, don't? We? Right, that ain't Jesus. What, what Jesus look like? Dark skinned man. <laughs> look to your left. Look to your left right here. Is that what Jesus is supposed to look like? Depiction of what he looks like, right? Everybody, come up here. Right. Say, we call people up here all the time and ask them who this is. But they never look at that picture. 
And it's got the scripture right on the bottom right. of the description of what Christ looks like. Yeah. Oh, people say it don't matter what it looks like. If it didn't matter, why is it in the Bible what he looks like? Oh. Makes sense, right? So, okay, you say you go to church. So what do your pastor teach you? How to live holy? Do the, the word of God? And I read the word for myself as well. Okay, if he's teaching you how to be holy, then she. She. Oh, oh, oh. oh Lord have mercy. Okay. The, the Listen, sis. Listen, sis. Right, see? That's how we know how people are destroyed. Women aren't supposed to teach. The Bible tells you that. They're not supposed to usurp the authority of a man. Right. Read that. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 11. Let the women learn in silence. It says to learn, let the women learn in silence. The, the flock of my pastor are men. Right. right? He said the flock of his pastor are men. I knew it was something when she walked up here because she was too comfortable. Right? right? And, I, and, I, and we, you teach long enough, you'll pull it out. And, pull, and it came out. Read. Ezekiel chapter 34 and verse 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men. He says his flock or his pastor are men. That sister is in error. Right? Why? Because she's listening to a woman teacher. And, uh, and she's teaching the men. You know some men in there that, that's being taught, right? Right? That makes no sense. That's why she's not taught to keep the law, statute, and commandments because she listened to the authority of a woman. That's right. When the Bible says a man is supposed to teach. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.